Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about World of Warcraft and why I am saying goodbye to it. I've made videos like this in the past, but this one is significantly different in one major way, and I hope most of you will stick around to hear more about the reasons behind this decision, but if you don't and you just want to get the information and get out, then here it is. World of Warcraft will no longer be a part of my YouTube channel moving forward. I'm completely shutting the door. There is no, hey, maybe I'll make this guide. Hey, maybe I'll make that guide. Hey, when Shadowlands comes out, I'll do X, Y, Z. I'm totally shutting the door. I'm cutting it out. Clean slate, fresh start, no World of Warcraft moving forward. There are a couple of exceptions to that, which I will talk about going forward, but they are not long-term exceptions. They are short-term exceptions to make sure that I follow through on some of the things that I have said that I will do because that's just the kind of person that I am and I don't wanna leave people hanging on some of the things that I have said that I wanna do. So I'll cover what those things are towards the end of the video. Just know that if there's a video hanging out that I said I would make or I'd probably make, there's gonna be a list at the end to cover that stuff and let you know, yes, I will make this, 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 and then I'm done, World of Warcraft is gone so in the rest of the video i want to give you a brief history of world of warcraft on the channel a little behind the scenes on what's been going on there and why i kind of came to this decision i want to talk to you about the current state of wow and where i think it's going to go which has also influenced this decision and then finally i want to talk to you about what this channel is going to look like now that world of warcraft is no longer going to be a part of it so for anyone who sticks around and wants to learn more, thank you. I appreciate you wanting to know a little bit about this decision. We're going to jump right in and talk about the history of World of Warcraft on the channel. I'm going to try to keep this as short as I possibly can. Basically, I've been making content of some kind or other live streams or video content for years now on different channels, etc, etc. And it's never been World of Warcraft content. I've made indie game content. Uh, I, I streamed the beginning of Legion on Facebook Live once or twice just for my friends uh, but you know I've done Hearthstone tournaments and commented on them I've played AAA games I've done stuff like that on other channels always is something that I did for fun and I never really did that for World of Warcraft well when Battle for Azeroth was coming out I got access to the beta I started looking around I wanted to change my main class and I was looking for videos that would explain what the classes did because even though I played all of them I didn't really dive super deep into a lot of the specializations on each of them and I didn't know how much the changes from Legion to BFA were going to affect those classes. Well, I couldn't find those videos. Most of what I found was people going, hey, here's what's different from BFA compared to Legion. And for me, what they were talking about didn't mean anything because I didn't know what they were talking about in the first place. I didn't know the fundamentals and I knew, okay, if I want to understand this, I want to pick a main, I want to pick a class, I'm going to have to do the research myself because that's who I am. That's what I do. I research things like crazy. And so I knew I was going to have to do that work. I wanted to make some videos and content. And I said to myself, hey, if I'm going to do this work anyway, I might as well put it out there as a video so that other people can use it and benefit from it. And that's what I did. And then the next thing I know that took off, it actually took off more than anything else I've ever done creatively solo that took off. And I started gaining subscribers and views and likes and comments and all that kind of good stuff. And I was like, oh, hey, maybe this is my opportunity to make something out of one of these YouTube channels that I've attempted in the past. And BFA was still new and I was still having fun and I just decided to keep making that content uh, for a little while and eventually I realized I didn't actually like BFA that much and I was kind of stuck doing it because that's what people wanted, that's what people asked for. And so I felt like, okay, I guess I'm a World of Warcraft channel now. And that was never my intention. My intention was to put out some videos and help some people, but that's where we ended up. So over the course of the past year or so, I've gotten burnout on World of Warcraft. I've taken a break. I've come back. I've tried to make more content because I wanted to help people. Then I got burnt out again. Then I came back because I wanted to continue to grow my YouTube channel. And I felt like this was the only way for me to do that was to keep making World of Warcraft content. And that's about where we're at today. 
where I'm back and I've been making World of Warcraft content because I felt like it was really the only thing that was going to help my channel grow and I didn't really have any other choice. So the next thing I want to talk about is the current state of World of Warcraft and where I think it's going. And this also influenced this decision. So first off, I don't think Battle for Azeroth is fun. I don't think it's an awful game. I don't think it's horrible. I don't think that plenty of people out there can have fun and enjoy it. But for me personally, it's an awful, horrible expansion that lacks soul and it lacks interesting class gameplay, which is what hooks me into mmos and rpgs in general it's not the story it's not the lore it's not the gear treadmill it's interesting class gameplay and that's not there for me and the easiest way to kind of explain like why this has come about is when i play video games for fun the game i play is never world of warcraft ever in the past year probably I have not once logged on to World of Warcraft because I just wanted to have fun. I've logged into World of Warcraft because I needed to research for a guide, I needed to make a guide, or I was doing a live stream for World of Warcraft. Those are literally the only times that I've played, and that's pretty obvious if you look at some of my live streams because you'll see that some of them I pick up exactly where I left off on the previous live stream because for that entire week, I didn't log in and I didn't play. So for me, Battle for Azeroth is not a very fun expansion. And everything kind of rests on the hopes of Shadowlands, right? Shadowlands being good, Shadowlands being awesome. And the truth is, I don't think that Shadowlands is going to be that good. I don't think it's going to be that bad either. I think it's going to be fairly similar to Battle for Azeroth. There's a couple reasons for this, okay? So first off, the artwork for Shadowlands looks amazing. The zones look cool, the factions look cool, everything looks cool, but you know what else look cool? The zones and the factions and stuff for Battle for Azeroth. The art team for World of Warcraft is killing it. They're destroying it. Their stuff looks awesome, but Battle for Azeroth was proof that they can't carry the game on their backs. So there has to be more there than just the visual stuff, right? And the visual stuff is great. And honestly, the visual stuff is probably what's going to get me to buy the expansion, play through the storyline at least once or twice, and then go from there. So it's probably going to be the visuals and, you know, maybe the, the soundtracks and stuff like those are always great, right? Uh, but looking at the gameplay systems, I just don't think that the current team at Blizzard is going to come up with anything that's going to be all that exciting or compelling to play. I think that given the track record of Blizzard as a whole over the past year, year and a half, it ain't looking pretty because they have screwed up basically everything except for their launch of Classic. I think that's the only thing they've done relatively successfully. They shut down HOTS, they, the whole Diablo Immortal debacle, the Azerite armor, you know, issue with World of Warcraft and just Battle for Azeroth in general, the Warcraft 3 launch, like all these things, they're just screwing up. And I think that either they are so out of touch with what players want that they're not going to make the content that's there, or they're so under pressure from time constraints and budget and stuff that they aren't going to be able to make the kind of content that people are really going to like and really enjoy. And so for all those reasons, I don't think Shadowlands is going to amount to much. I don't think it's going to be horrible. I don't think it's going to be awesome. I think it's probably going to be about as good as BFA, maybe a little better if we're lucky. And that is not a game that's compelling enough for me to want to base my entire channel around it. So that's what I think of current World of Warcraft. That's what I think of it going forward. The short version is I don't think World of Warcraft is a horrible game, but I also don't think that there's a high likelihood of it becoming something that I want to play so much that I want to base my entire channel around it. And I'm at the point where I don't have time to split between games that I want to play and games that I want to play for YouTube. They need to be the same. Uh, and I just don't think that's going to happen with World of Warcraft. So where does that bring us? That brings us to a Setsuko channel with no World of Warcraft moving forward. 
Well, the first thing I want to say is there are a few videos that I am going to make and a few things that I am going to do in order to hopefully make this transition as positive as possible for anyone who is here for World of Warcraft. So there are a couple videos that I am going to make regardless of the fact that I am not doing World of Warcraft content going forward. There are three videos that I'm going to make. I'm going to make the beginner's guide to the Holy Paladin. I'm going to make the weak auras introduction tutorial, and I'm going to make a weak auras guide on how to create the setup that I use in World of Warcraft. Aside from video content, the other thing that I am going to offer is I'm going to offer whatever import codes I can get for my current UI setup available for free to everyone and I'm going to offer import codes for weak auras and import codes for my OPI key binding setups if anyone wants those. The, all that stuff is gonna be available for free. It's not gonna be behind a Patreon wall or anything like that. I will not be offering any sort of support for those import codes. So if you import them and they don't work right, it's up to you to figure them out. I have the tutorials here but I did want to provide that content to you. Those are the things that I feel are kind of lingering promises that I've made for World of Warcraft, and I want to make sure that I don't leave people hanging on those. Anything outside of that was in the land of possibility, not actuality or solid concrete promises as far as I'm aware, and that stuff is gone. If it's not in that list I just gave you, it's not getting created for World of Warcraft. So Holy Paladin Beginner's Healing Guide, Weak Aura's Introductory Tutorial, Weak Aura's How to Set Up My Setup, and then uh, any sort of import codes I can give for my UI setup, any sort of import codes that I can give for my Weak Aura's setups, and also my OPI setups. Those are gonna be the things that I will provide uh, over the next couple of weeks or months or however long it takes me to make that content and get it to you. Those are the things I am promising here to make and that you will see moving forward. Moving on beyond World of Warcraft, I basically had two options that I was looking at, which was focus my channel on the card games that I play all the time. Someone in my birthday stream uh, quoted, find someone who loves you as much as Sezuko loves indie card games. And they weren't wrong, okay? I love my card games and you could just tell like I just have fun with card games, right? I love them. So I thought about making my channel about uh, card games, indie card games, big card games, whatever. I would cover Hearthstone, Legends of Runeterra, Magic the Gathering, indie stuff like Slay the Spire, or Pirates Outlaws, that kind of stuff. The main sort of roadblock in the way of me doing that is the fact that those are very, very populated niches and they are hard to break into for a smaller channel so I don't know if I would really be able to facilitate the growth of my channel if I chose to go in that direction there's a lot of viewership there's a lot of content to be made uh, all card games have like a regular expansion cycle so there's constant stuff to make content for I would never lack for that but ultimately those are such concentrated popular niches that there are already so many well-established uh, streamers and content creators that it's really hard to break into. There's not a lot of potential for a smaller channel like mine to make a big impact. So, and this might be obvious to some of you, the other direction that I could go is to make my channel an indie games channel. And that's what I've decided to do. The cool thing about indie games is that there are so many ways that you can break in and get rankings on like first pages and stuff that there is the potential for channel growth there in that direction. But it's not all about YouTube and growth and subscribers and viewer counts and all that kind of stuff. It's about what's fun. And honestly, in my free time, I play two types of games. I play card games and I play indie games. And for me, you know, people know about the card games that are out there most of the time. If I go to my friends and I'm like, hey, have you ever heard of Hearthstone? They're like, oh, yeah, I've heard of that game. Have you ever heard of Magic the Gathering? Yeah, I've heard of that. When I go and I'm like, hey, have you ever heard of Lonely Mountains Downhill? 
crickets no i've never heard of that and i'm like oh it's a super cool game where you get to like ride a bike down a mountain and it's just i don't know it's really pretty and it's a lot of fun and so for me even though i love playing card games i also love playing indie games and honestly i've always been really passionate about helping people discover these cool little indie games to just fit right into the type of game that they love whether that's an indie card game or an indie rpg or an indie turn-based game and you know also indie developers are the ones that work with small channels they're the ones that have worked with me in the past and they're the ones that have given me you know free games and been like hey can you showcase this game and i'm like yeah i want to showcase your game and i've literally gotten more keys than i've been able to showcase games on my channel because i just haven't had enough slots and one of the perks of doing this stuff on youtube has been getting those free game keys and being able to play this wide variety of games but the truth is i spend so much time making world of warcraft content or card game content or whatever that i play these games for like 30 minutes and then i don't get to play them again and i want to because they're good they're fun they're exciting i want people to know about them and i want to show them off and so for me it's like that's the obvious way to go that's where my passion is i want to play these games and i want to show them to people and go you should check this game out it's so cool it's so fun you may have never heard of it and it's only five bucks or it's 10 bucks right you're not paying 60 bucks for a triple a game um the downside of that is that you know uh so many games aren't that good <laughs> but you know if that's the case i can at least let you know hey this game's not good don't check it out uh so what's coming for the channel is basically a big branding switch world of warcraft is totally going away all the world of warcraft videos that i have will stay where they're at on the channel in terms of, like nothing's getting deleted or archived or anything but i will be taking world of warcraft off the banner it'll be out of the description it'll be off the front page of the channel it won't be a part of patreon it won't be a part of any of that kind of stuff the only way that world of warcraft is going to exist on my channel is as the playlists that i already have and the videos that i've already made I will be transitioning and tailoring my channel to announce like, hey, this is a channel about indie games and I'll start making new videos, new playlists, and those will be on the front page of the channel. That kind of stuff will be in the header, uh, all that kind of good stuff. The thumbnail style, the logo and all that kind of stuff is probably gonna stay the same. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm leaning towards keeping that all the same because I do like it overall. I like the way that things look. And to cap everything off here, the kind of icing on the cake, the like, hey, look at the bright side here. Uh, aside from the fact that I'm just gonna be doing something that I'm super excited about, and I hope a lot of you are as well, the bright side here is I'm gonna be adding more streaming days to my rotation. Right now, I am thinking about three total days of streaming every week. So streaming is gonna massively go up. And then also the content that I make for indie games, be it reviews, gameplay, et cetera, et cetera, uh, will not be as effort intensive as the class guides and things have been. So I should be able to produce more of that regularly as well. And uh, the content that I make or the streams that I do won't necessarily all just be highlight streams where I just play a game for 30 minutes and move on. Uh, the intention is that some of the games, the more popular ones or the ones that I have more fun with, will be games that get played to completion or for several episodes. So that's what's going on. I know that's a lot to take in. I know some people aren't going to be happy with this decision, but this is the decision that I've made. It's taken me over a year to get here. It's been a solid year of back and forth and flip flopping. And I know that hasn't been fun for, you know, some of you. It hasn't been fun for me. And I just knew that I finally needed to make a decision and either open the door and keep it open or close the door and keep it shut. And in this case, I've decided to close the door and keep it shut. And honestly, I think that this is something to genuinely be excited about if you like me as a content creator and if you have even a remote interest in indie games. This is gonna be a fun step forward, a new exciting direction for the channel and I hope that you're on board and you enjoy it. And uh, 
yeah, I'm really excited. I have so many games planned to show off. There's a lot of good stuff coming out this year. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to be able to showcase it and hopefully uh, build the channel in that direction, make more content, make more connections, and be able to show off more cool stuff as the year goes on. So I appreciate everyone who's been here to support the channel this far. And whether you decide to continue supporting the channel in the future or not, I, I truly do appreciate the support. Like I wouldn't have gotten to where I am to be in a position to make a decision like this or to even think about this decision in the first place if it weren't for your support and your understanding, your views, your comments, your likes, and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, I truly am grateful. And uh, if you decide to go elsewhere, uh, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, I've got recommendations for other World of Warcraft channels that I watch and I enjoy. If you want them, I can give them to you. Uh, and you can get your content there. And uh, for everyone else who is sticking around for the ride and is excited about what's happening on the channel, well, here we go.